I've been watching her for two nights now. When was it last she walked? She walks every night, sir. She looks at this letter and reads it and writes on it every night. What does she say when she walks? That I cannot tell you, sir. Yes, you can. <laughs> you have to see it to believe it, sir. Doctor, doctor, come closer. Lady Macbeth comes. Observe her. Stand close. Why is she walking? By the light right there. Why is it? The Why light, is she right beside the light? The light always follows her, sir. It's under her command. But her eyes are open. Why are her eyes open? I, but her senses are shut. But her hands. What is it that she does? She is rubbing her hands. Sir, I do not know. Let's watch her some longer time. The day the life path away. But where is she now? Will these hands never be clean? No more, my lord, no more. You mar us with all this staring. She has spoken what she should not have. She has spoken what she should not. I am sure of that. Heaven knows what she has known. The scent of blood is still on these hands. Not even all the perfumes and all of Arabia will take this away. My heart hurts from hearing this. Every part of my body to my bosoms hurts from hearing this. Well, well, well. Pray God it be, sir. I have never had a disease this bad before that I could cure. <laughs> Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, ready for bed. Banquo is dead. Don't worry about him, he is in his grave. Even so, to bed, to bed, there is knocking at the gates. Come, come, take my hand. What is done cannot be undone. Will she now go to bed? Directly, my good sir. Oh. Foul whispers are abroad. Unnatural deeds breed unnatural troubles. We cannot speak of anything that was said tonight. My mind is completely fried. Let's go to bed. Good to you, good sir. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes. Why would you say that?